Hello, party people. Bear with me. I'm nervous. Um, well, I think I'm nervous. I think I'm going to be nervous. Uh, but I hope I can serve you well still with my face on camera. I promised that to myself I would show my face when I got to 3,000 3, subscribers. I almost got there the other day. I was at 2,900 and something something. And then something happened and I went back down to 2,980 something. But I know I'm going to get there. 3k um get to reach more people in the collective that vibrate on this uh frequency with us the energy is uh the more people you have in the collective when serving is the more potent the message i feel and it also helps us to connect better with one another and with aspects of ourselves that we've disassociated with so that's why it's important for us to come together as much of us as possible. So I ask that you subscribe to the channel and become a part of the family here. I love having you here with me. Um, thank you for hitting the like button and showing your support throughout this journey. And for sharing the messages when they inspire you. And you feel inspired to share with someone else. That's nice, right? It's like giving. So like I say... Let's get into the messages. I'm kind of nervous, but get started. So welcome into the channel. This is Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. And we'll get some general messages for you. These are general messages, so they may not all apply to all of you. I don't even know where to look. But take the ones that do apply and let the rest fly. <clears throat> So let me tell you something. There is a great change coming, and it—I feel like it is done. And um, this may sound strange to some people, but a architect or an architect is here in the game. They've put them, they've put themselves in the game. An architect. This person has a time machine. Perhaps they can time travel, and they've come back in the game. Don't mind my bonnet and my. I just washed my hair and it's, so it's drying. Um, <laughs> so this architect is in the game with the magician card. It's the energy of him. You know that you know that movie, um, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's that moment before he hits that button and then he decides, okay, I'm gonna go in now because I feel him, this magician, talking with someone else and saying. All right, you know, I'm going to go in now and he's going to hit the button and be transported either to a, another dimension or, as I say, he may be shrinking himself. But I do feel what he, the machine he's working with as the magician is some a kind, a kind of a time machine. It's true. It's going to take this magician or this architect into this ten of pentacles. This is a picture this is a vision the architect may have our magician our mason he may have designed this vision or it's a vision that he holds dear i'm getting the energy of inception when leonardo dicaprio he kept holding on to memories of his wife because of guilt or something like that and so he could come back. He, he often went back to that vision. You know the movie Inception. So he often went back to that vision to maybe relive it, re-experience it, and try to save his wife. Something like that, right? So this magician has transported himself to the Ten of Pentacles, which is that place. It's a place. It's a vision. It's a state. But it's to do something. It's for a reason. He wants to ch make a change. He may be coming back to see his mother again or his younger self. But like I say, he's going, he's coming back in time, in this time. He's here. So, so we may be seeing double, double ganging, double gangers, someone that looks like you, or maybe not double ganging, but because I'm telling you, because in the Ten of Pentacles, you can see a young boy playing with a dog and there's an older man with a dog. I do feel like he's come back to his younger self or a younger time. I feel like he's here three times as the older gentleman, the young boy and 
the young adult here <clears throat> there's something about his mother or this woman we see in the ten of pentacles that he is here for he may be here to he's to do something he's to put something down he wants to put something here as if he has a box and he he's coming this time to leave a box or a clue or an admission that someone will find Maybe this person wants to unite with their twin flame energy, the, the love of their life. We have the magician and the strength card. For me, that's twin flame shellings, like out of this world, kind of. It's like a witch and a wizard coming together. So that powerful. Uh, right. So when he gets here, this architect, this magician, in this vision, he's He's hitting the ground running. He's immediately going to do what he came for. And this has something to do with his, what is that energy that I felt? He wants us, us, maybe feminine, to understand his true nature. His, his, uh, what is that? His masculine nature, his desires. He wants us to know. It's as if he's been telling us a lie about his nature. Maybe his animalistic nature as a masculine. He's been holding it back or lying to us. And then in the future, he saw that it was wrong to do so. Like everything fell down in the future. And so this magician or this architect is back here now to tell us something. To, like It's almost like an admittance, a confession with this. But this box that he's leaving, maybe he's deciding to be open. He's he's telling us of his his innate animalistic natures. I don't know why. He wants us to know. I feel like he wants us to know. I could be talking about divine masculine. So this reading could be for you. Because it's like going back in time. I'm telling you, this, this magician is coming from the future, coming back in time to meet up with some feminine energy that could be his mother or his divine twin flame or both or all around feminine energy because he now wants to tell her something that he feels he ought to, anywho, he ought to. So this is the gift, an inheritance. The Ace of Wands. Pride. I don't know why I heard pride. His pride. Maybe his, his land. Is the energy of someone's land being their pride? Or the, his home? Or his roots? And it, it, it does have something to do with his nature. His instincts as a man. As a masculine. Maybe he's been denying... Or he's known, but he didn't say. Carnet. What, what is that? And I, I feel like the fact that he hid it, or he maybe it was shame, it got to him and made him different. Made him feel like he could have been without feminine, masculine. You know? But um, as he went further and further into the future, that's him. That's the magician. He put himself here. Maybe he's going to correct something with, I, I keep repeating myself, with his mother. Um, what's this? Something about this energy. It's emotions. I feel like he's talking about a lot of the emotions, even on the planets. We have the world card out here. The fighting, maybe for gains and for riches, for wealth. It was all a facade because of his energy, his true energy. That he wasn't being honest with feminine about. You know what I mean? But feminine is so powerful, like I only, well, yeah, the strength card is here. But even in this little picture with this feminine in the red dress, it's just her essence alone. She doesn't, she's not wanting him to come back. 
she's not she loves him but she's like she's open that's she's like the epitome of love she's not forcing him to stay she's allowing him to go and to be himself but it's almost like she still loves him regardless and then when he sees that even on into the future he's watching her perhaps i feel like he could be watching feminine over lifetimes and he's realizing how beautiful she really is how she just carries on despite everything that's going on and it makes him want to come back and do what is right he's seeing that he it's it's he should be truthful i'm not seeing the ace of swords but i'm feeling a confession or just just being authentic the rawness because we need to be that with each other. If I feel like he felt like he went wrong somewhere. Or, or, or he knows what went wrong and he's back to fix it with feminine. Like I said, there is this, there's a lot of um, energy that people couldn't even figure out what's going on. Like, why are we fighting? What's going on here? It's just, you know, an energy of people just starting, just fighting. And no one knows what's going on. What, what is the root of all of this? No one knows. So something about the roots. We're going to get some answers. The roots. What is the root of all of this chaos? What, what is the reason? Because mankind thought that what? He should rule and dominate. You know? <clears throat> and then strength. It's so interesting that we start off with the magician and then the result is strength. It's a subtler vibration, I'm telling you, with feminine energy. So when masculine is like, I've got to get this done now. Feminine is like, it's okay, honey. It's going to get done. It will be done. And it is done. Both get it done, but in different energies. Both are magicians. So I feel like this chaos, whatever, all this, this energy of what is going on? Why are we fighting? Oh, but no one knows why they're fighting, but they're still fighting. That's the energy. You're fighting over riches and gains and who's going to be more successful. But people are still wondering, is this necessary? Do we need to do this? But they're still fighting because someone, they've been fooled. Something like that. But then we move into strength energy. I feel like how we win the battle. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's how I, I feel like that's how we win. The strength. The strength is courage, power, bravery. It's alchemy. It's internal chemistry. It's harmony. It's hormones. It's rewiring, regenerating. It's healing. It's knowing the truth, the root. Feminine knows the root. She understands the innateness of the quarrel, of the fight, of the fuss, of the war. She sees where it comes from, this fuss. She can see it, and you can see she's learning how to tame it, or she is already taming it. You know, where masculine wanted to dominate and to control and to exert his power, feminine wanted to just soothe because she saw where it was coming from. That's the rule, you know. As feminine is more subtly, more moon, more subtly driven by the divine, a lighter force that maybe masculine can't even hear, you know. So she hears what he can't hear, so she knows what the root of this is. But the time it takes for her to tap him on his shoulder to say, honey, I know what it's, I know what the root is. He's always in his hair. So he's like, I can't deal with you right now. But she's like, honey, I have the answer. So maybe feminine needs to, feminine had to get a bit masculine to, like, err, stand, to be able to be heard by masculine. And masculine needed to be at the end of his wits, 
I feel like that's the only way he would settle down and listen to his wife, perhaps his wife. Anywho, yeah. So then we have the the the, 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 the night of ones chasing movement. So someone could be coming around to you now, or you're moving fast, rapidly, going after what you want. You could be traveling, walking, moving quickly. You could be like relocating, migrating, going to somewhere very far to, to, this could be magic, the masculine energy I'm reading for. It's like I say, you hit the ground running. It is urgent. You don't, you can't be here. You only have a limited time to do this masculine and you're so eager and so you are feeling such a powerful force of love within you upon this realization of something else. I feel like you're carrying this masculine that I'm talking about, this magician, this architect. He's seen. He's seen a lot. He may not be the norm. A normal person or a normal masculine in society. He may be strange. But he has passion for what he's doing. For the dream he's chasing. For the mission he's here on. This masculine, this magician, this architect may also be... Awakened and feminine. So he knows too. The root of this fuss, fussing and fighting. He understands. He has allowed some way feminine to enter into his space. He too had resistance to feminine, but he learned, he learned. So he's bringing a change. Some change is going to come around to your home, your world. Someone is traveling, maybe coming back, moving out, something new arriving. Or this is the world itself opening up. This could be the portal in which masculine travels to. Like it, it, this box is it's like a box of light. If he gets through. He, it will be successful in time if he makes it to deliver this in the world. See, he's coming to deliver to the world. Congress. Congress. That word congress sounded like coming together of congress. Coming together. Because here we have the chaos, and then we have the Congress here. This is where he arrives at. This is where he's coming. Maybe coming to your home, coming out, going to the White House. I don't know. But Congress, it's, it's like everyone, uh, uh, Decisions that that the bet that benefits the collective the best. That's what I feel Congress is. The decisions that benefits the collective the best. And this is how people coming together with Congress. What is that? He's that's not all that he's doing. He's coming into Congress. Or he's placing, because we see masculine, no, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It's a celebration of two tools, two people dreaming again, a new start. Yeah, something huge is happening in the world. And it's between masculine and feminine. The magician, the strength. Masculine, feminine. Masculine, feminine. Something about meeting this female here. As if he put himself right here to meet her in this time. 
doing something about that energy. It's almost like a star. We'll probably get a visit from an alien dimension, it's true. We probably will. I feel like a star will open up like ding and then something will come out of it and it, it but it's it feels peaceful and then the star closes and then when we look there is an alien standing here and it's like I come in peace. It's true, like something is coming into our dimension in this world. Like I say, it was the architect. Anywho, where was I? What? <laughs> I don't know how I got to that part. Um, so the four, so it could be coming to your home. Someone could be getting married or this is a business alignment coming through. Our union people working together, but it's like taking it back. You know what is it? It feels like going back to that time before a decision was made, maybe to for a union, and then stopping that. Maybe this masculine is about to stop a trade off or a deal in the past, or is it no? I don't know. Some of you are gonna get, uh, they're gonna celebrate. You're crossing that line. I feel it. You are. So you're making it through that. You're making it through. Because I feel you on the other side of making it through celebrating. So whatever you're working at. So for some of you, it's a home, it's a marriage. But when you get, when it's done, it's because it's going to be done. You're going to be happy. It's going to make you feel good. Something about balance is the outcome. See what I'm talking about? Masculine and feminine energies throughout this reading. Balance, harmony, economize, moderation to each his own. Each has their connection to the divine. Each has their place. Frugality. Third eye, vision, angelic. It's really about, look, the water is neat. Something about the center of where the water is neat. The water is neat. What is that? There's definitely going to be an alien coming. I'm, I'm looking out for it. I feel it. There's a different, there are times when I do tarot and I know that what I talk about is already, art is about to appear. This is one of those times where it's almost like I'm living a dream because I know what I'm talking about is going to happen. Something huge in the world. And I'm telling you powerfully, I'm seeing an alien. It feels feminine, like white skin, but not white like we think of Caucasian white, like white, white. Shining, it looks glossy, divine. It looks like it's not going to hurt. It may have a light around its head, but that could be just coming out of the starship that it's coming from and it just emerges and it, it has no fear that's so nice because the last time I saw a white figure like this it had fear it was so fearful and it was chasing me all around it wasn't an alien in that vision but now I feel like I don't want to talk about it anymore we'll see what happens so remember, um, so with the temperance as the outcome, there's going to be balance and I hear a strategy. Maybe someone wants to work with you, align with you. Could be water, fire, sign. I see a, a lot of fire. Ah, look at that. The king of wands. Maybe wants to marry you. He feels like you are the yin to his yang or something. The ten of pentacles dream again he feels like you are his match with the strength and the magician family of course he will want to have a family with you but that's not all it is he wants to have a family with you with you hmm. he wants to he wants to work with you, to marry you, to have a family with you. 
Wow. <laughs> Listen, I, don't, I squeezed the cards and get 22 cards dropped on the table. Everything else went over here. This is the rest. And what fell at the top and at the bottom, if I could show you the king and the queen of cups. So he is up here and she is down here. Anywho. So they just fell. It's so amazing. This is beautiful. Like I literally, I went like this. With the thoughts that were in my head. And the king and queen fell on the board. Talking about twin flame, soulmates, masculine, feminine energy. There's also this energy. Oh, I know who this is. This is those who this is this is those who are feminine but feel masculine and are masculine but feel feminine. You know, so I'm not leaving that out at all. I don't want to. It's just how you feel masculine, feminine, whatever you want to represent. But innately you came here today in this time to really to make a change. Yeah, I was saying someone wants to marry, to have a family with you. They feel like it's almost like they feel like you can settle them down. Like that's what I was saying with masculine and feminine. This person may feel like you are their rock in a sense. Like you kind of ground them. Mm -hmm, I'm good. You, <laughs> you ground them out. Like you're their copper wire or something, you're, they're grounding, you know. They feel like you're good for them. Yeah, your vibrations together. Feel like your vibration. They feel like your vibration with theirs is good. They feel like you're so focused too, concentrated. So involved, involved in your community. In healing, they admire you a lot. Like this person just looks at you and just smiles because they admire you. They appreciate who you are, independent of them. Just who you are. So this person could be coming to get you if they haven't got you already. And if they have gotten you already, they're ready to allow you to, not allow you, but allow themselves to be open to you, to your energy, be more full, for you to express yourself more. They wanna like sit back and watch you maybe watch you dance or speak to them it's like this person could just listen to you speak just sit here and listen to you talk just they, they're just that open to you no i don't know what changed and then after you finish talking or in the midst they want to get up and hug you and swing you around it's like real love that this person feels for you okay it's like they're seeing you they see you and the thing is this it's kind of beautiful because at the same time the part of you that they see is something inside of them that they love and appreciate that you exude and express it so well it's like you are the living life itself as 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 this female because i'm talking about a masculine watching a female and admiring her all right that's that for that thank you so much for coming through i do hope you enjoyed these messages i hope i was able to get them across to you well i hope the setup was okay i don't know if you're seeing my shadow on the wall i don't know but this is what it is i'm coming out i'm coming out I want the world to know I gotta let me show The time has come for me to break out of a shell I got to shout Cause I'm coming now I'm 
Says feminine divine, and then look, <laughs> so cool. It's like this parted, and the sun came out. Something is definitely transitioning for feminine, and it's also about um, feminine sexuality as well. You know, all were innate sexuality, energy, all of that. Because remember, we were talking about masculines. They, as if they wanted to tell us about how they really feel sexually, as if we don't know that they're frustrated and they just use it to fight each other. Remember that all is within you. You are all. Thank you for coming through. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.